So, today's first section of question and answers is actually going to be about the first episode, basically what we just talked about, obviously, because it's the part two of our two-part segment here that we got going on. The first part was me talking about the movie. The second part is the questions that we get from our viewers who are asking questions. It's simple as that. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, did you re- did your rewatch change your opinions on Phantom Menace? When I first watched, let me go back to the first time I watched this movie. The first time I watched this movie, sh I didn't understand a single thing that was going on. I had to watch the second time. But me watching this again at this point in time, me being this old, I haven't watched it when I'm at this age, my current age that I'm at right now, which is 25. I haven't watched it. I hated it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I might have liked it the first time I watched it, or the first few times I watched it, but at my current age, I hated it. After knowing the other films that are out there, I freaking hate this movie. Like I said, my first part, I couldn't stand it. I was having a hard time watching. I couldn't finish it. I said that too. I couldn't finish it. <laughs> no, it's so sad. It is so sad. So sad. So sad. Hmm. But yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Not a huge fan at all. Next question is, how would you rank the saga excluding spinoffs? That's the hard one. You guys are going to have to keep up with me. All right, so the first one in my list that I really liked, minus uh, you know, the special spinoffs, uh, the first one would definitely be The Last Jedi. I really loved The Last Jedi. I'm going to write that down here because there's nine movies or eight movies I'm going to have to go over. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The Return of the Jedi. What am I freaking talking about? Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. The Last Jedi was terrible. I liked The Return of the Jedi. <laughs> so I liked Return first, right? The second one was Empire Strikes Back, right? That was the second one that I liked. Then the third one, my favorite third one was, and I had this ranked a lot of time ago. This thing constantly changes over and over. My third favorite is Revenge of the Sith. That's my third one. Three for three, right? Revenge of the Sith. And then my fourth one was, what was the fourth one? I think the fourth one was A New Hope. <laughs> that was the fifth one, right? So that's one. No, sorry, that was the fourth one. The fourth one was A New Hope. Then the fifth one was definitely, uh, I believe, what's it called? The Force. The Force Awakens. Force Awakens was my fifth favorite one. Then my sixth favorite one was uh, most definitely, and this is when it gets a little hard, honestly. It's the first, the fifth, the, well, hold up. What number are we on? Frick, man, it's so hard. The sixth one. <laughs> Jeez. The sixth one is The Last Jedi. No, sorry, scratch that. The, the sixth one was Attack of the Clones, right? And then the sixth one was, what the frick, what is it called? Uh, losing track. I even wrote it down. I'm losing track. Attack of the Clones was the sixth one. Sorry. The seventh one was, wow, this is so hard. <laughs> this is so hard. I'm losing track of the movies that I have down. Right. The seventh, <laughs> the seventh one was, what the heck is it called? The Last Jedi was the seventh one. And then the eighth one was The Phantom Menace. Like, I hated The Phantom Menace so much. It was just, I couldn't stand it. I, like I said in the previous one, couldn't stand it. Hard to watch. Anything else, I would have an okay time watching. But this one, gosh, no. I would sell it and burn it and be like, yeah, you weren't even ever in my lifetime, okay? Uh, the next question is, what did you think about Young Anakin? Young Anakin. I would have preferred to see a teenager Anakin. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I would have liked to have seen him mature, which he did not do. All he did was sass and complain all the time. All the time he sassed and he complained. I would have liked to have seen a more older, a little bit, maybe a little bit older. Maybe like a teenager version of Anakin is what I would have liked to see. What I really would have liked to see. Definitely not a young Anakin. Definitely not in Tattoo. I can't stand Tattoo. I hate Tattoo. I don't know why. I just don't like it. It seems so down. It sounds like a 
like a depressing place. I can't. I don't like. I don't like Tatooine. Don't like it. But young Anakin, I didn't like him. Do you think it was a wasted effort to promote Darth Maul the way they did before release, just to kill him off in the first movie like that? Like why? Yeah, I didn't. I mm, completely waste. Completely wasted. They could have done so much more with that character. You know what I'm saying? Like Darth Darth Maul or something like that. Who knows, maybe Anakin would have ended up killing him in the third movie just for a spot to be with Palpatine. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He could have done something a lot better. I can't stand the fact when they do that with movies, when they have one boss and then it's like, oh, he's dead. Okay, that's a checklist. On to the next one. Okay, he's dead. On to the next one. Okay, he's dead. So on and so forth. I don't like that. I think it's a waste of effort. They should just start doing Minus Kylo Ren, my gosh. Kylo Ren is just freaking terrible, dude. Tyler, where are you getting these questions from? I'm getting these questions from questions that you guys answered. I, I took them and I put them in Discord. <laughs> so, yeah. Like Kylo Ren, but definitely a lot better done. Because I don't like Kylo Ren. I don't think anyone does. What would you, what would you think would have happened if Qui-Gon survived the duel? See, that's a hard question. Because then the second one comes out to be... Dooku, right? The second one ends up being Dooku. So what I honestly think would have happened was because I know if you read, see, this is the part where you have to read and you also need to cross-reference the movies from the books. I don't know. See, the thing is that the books are canon. Some books are legends. It's hard. But from what I read, Qui-Gon Jinn was getting fed up. He was getting fed up. Like, literally, this guy was getting fed up with the council. Like, he was about to be done. He probably would have ended up being like what Ahsoka did. He probably would have left the council, you know? He might have come face to face with Dooku, but I honestly think Qui-Gon Jinn would have left council if he came back and because they weren't even allowing him to train train Anakin just because they were scared, you know? But that's what I would go for. I would go for that he would have left the council and he would have become a great Jedi just like Ahsoka Tano. Do you have any favorite pieces of music in the star wars universe not exactly episode one but any dude i love the throne room the throne room ending scene music piece from a new hope i freaking love it oh my gosh it's amazing i love that and i love the music between uh what is it called darth <laughs> not darth vader well, i guess you can say is darth vader and obi-wan from revenge of the sith because that's kind of what he was called at one point but obi-wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. I liked it when they were fighting. I forgot the song. And then there is also obviously the theme song from Star Wars. I mean, you know, that moment. Da, 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 da. It's just it just mind blowing. I love it. It's so good. Right? The one main thing that is good about Phantom Menace is the music. Do you agree with me there? I most definitely, definitely agree with you there. I freaking love the music in Star Wars and Phantom Menace it's fantastic it's done really well in my opinion one of the most important parts of any movie in general is music music sets the tone it really does I mean if you're just listening to this without music it's not I don't know for me it's not entertaining like I have to have music wherever I go it sets the mood it does you know, you're feeling down. What do you want to play? You want to play happy music, you know? That's just how it is, you know? That's how I feel about it. I think music is the one of the most important pieces in anything in general. Hold up. Let's see. We actually got some more questions in chat. I'm seeing pop up over here. So the first one, it says, if... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Maybe not. Maybe that's no more questions. That is all of the questions. That's. But yeah, that's where all the questions are coming from. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And once again, this is Pure Lysing. You can find me on twitch.tv backslash Pure Lysian. All right. Y'all have a good day. Peace out.